The next step is to create the split surfaces for the die blocks. We'll begin by filling the holes in the solid. Select the solid and click the Solid Doctor icon. Select the three holes that are on the inside of the part by picking them from the tree. Choose the repair option that removes boundaries. The underlying surfaces are automatically retrimmed to close the holes. The large outer hole does not need to be repaired as it is the basis for the split surfaces. Instead, select the Mark Hole Boundary option and apply. Click the green tick. PowerShape will warn you that you have no surfaces selected, but in this case, that is what we want. Click Finish to exit the Solid Doctor. You now have a new curve around the outline of the part. Select the curve and click the Merge and Spline icon on the Curve toolbar. This removes any points that are not needed to keep the curve within tolerance, making surfaces created from the curve easier to manage. Open the Surface Creation toolbar and choose the Split Surface option. This surface will be trimmed to the die blocks, so it needs to be big enough to fully overlap them. Set the offset distance to 100mm. The default split surface option is to create a surface that radiates out from the part. In this case, this may cause the surface to intersect itself as there are some sharp corners. Instead, choose Align to Axes to force the surface curves to be along X and Y. Click Preview to check that the new surface is correct, and if it is, press OK. The split surfaces are identical on both sides of the part. Select the surface, copy and paste it, and move the copy to the core layer. The split surface can now be merged with the solid. Select the solid, noticing that the Solid Edit toolbar opens automatically. Choose the Sew option. Select the surface and press OK. Any wireframe and labels created by the Solid Doctor can be deleted.